Hey, it's Mike with TechPB, and today we're going to tackle the topic of what's the best paint. Uh, the emails I get all the time about, Mike, what's the best paint, what kind of paint should I buy? Paint and paint choices is a really complex, ever-evolving type question, okay? They're the different type of playing styles, the different types of guns, um, the different conditions. There's a lot of things that you got to take into consideration when you're out there and you're choosing paint. Now, here's something that's kind of funny is that during the summertime and getting into the fall, nobody really seems to care about paint. But if you look around the wintertime, everybody starts complaining about their paint. All my paint's breaking, all my paint's breaking. And the first thing I'm going to tell you to look at is paint is a lot like produce in many, in many ways, okay? It, it does have, you know, it can spoil. So the first thing we're going to talk about today, when you're researching what kind of paint to shoot, is to find out where the paint is actually made up. Okay, for instance, I believe our Procaps is made up in Canada. Okay, um, if, if you know down here in Florida, Procaps paint around the winter time doesn't shoot that well. The reason why is it comes up in Canada where it's freezing cold, drives all the way down through the northern United States where it's freezing cold and unrefrigerated or un um, you know climate controlled trucks finally makes it all the way down here, and that so basically that paint has been sitting in a refrigerator for days and days and days and then by the time it gets down here to Florida it's very brutal and it breaks. Um, something else too, some paint that's made overseas by the time it gets over here, like we call it China Ball. Um, some of the paint that's made overseas typically uh, you know by the time it gets over here it gets off the container and finally gets in here sometimes that paint can be kind of hard. So one of the first things you want to do when you're researching uh, the type of paint that you want to shoot or trying to find a favorite type of paint to shoot is to find out where it's made. Now here in Florida I'm lucky because uh, you know I live here in Tampa um, RP Sure is located in St. Petersburg, so I know that when the winter time comes around, I can always go with RP Sure paint because it's made you know 50 miles from my house, and I don't have to worry about getting that road shock of it being freezing cold by the time it gets all the way down here. So, do your research on where your paint is made at first, and that may kind of give you some clues as to uh, how the paint's going to shoot out of the box. So now that you've done your research and you figure out where it's made at, how long does it take to get over here? This side and the other. Next thing you got to consider when you're making your paint choices is what kind of gun am I shooting and what kind of loader am I shooting and also what kind, type of play that I'm doing. Am I playing woods ball? Am I playing scenario? Am I playing um, tournament ball? All this stuff is different. Okay, I know you know when I go and I play you know at, at uh, you know at tournaments, the type of paint that I shoot generally I'm shooting Draxxus, uh, usually like X ball silver. Um, <clears throat> the the type of paint that I'm shooting. And the tournaments is different than what I'm shooting when I'm playing woods ball. When I'm playing woods ball, I'm looking for balls that generally a little bit of a smaller bore, um, because if I'm shooting through like my Tippmann with a flat line, Tippmann with flat line seems to love smaller bore paint. I'm usually looking for smaller bore, a little bit of a harder shell. That's very important in woods ball to have a slightly harder shell because any you know any sort of twigs or leaves or anything that the ball can bounce off of as it's going out. If you're shooting tournament paint, it's going to come apart before it's even anywhere near your target. If it's a little bit of a thicker shell has a better chance of me making it through some of the ferns, some of the weeds, and, and hitting the person and getting them out. Um, you know, the type of gun also, um, you know, if I'm shooting like my dies, uh, the dies that are spool valves are very delicate on paint. Um, you know, my marks, very delicate on paint. Most of the tournament level guns are generally very delicate on paint. The egos, you know, all that stuff, you know, they're generally very delicate on paint. Um, some of my spiders, some of my tipmans, those are generally very brutal on paint. Um, very, you know, a ton of spring tension when they go and smack that ball out of the barrel. So, check, uh, you know, taking a look at what kind of gun do I shoot and seeing how brutal that, you know, that paintball gun is on the paint should also help you choose what kind of shell should you be going for. Um, so that kind of covers, um, to, you know, what kind of paint. Now, well, for woods ball, I definitely recommend, especially if you're shooting flat, uh, flat line barrels, smaller bore paint. And you can generally figure this out. A Draxxus is generally very small, uh, smaller bore paint. RP Sure is generally larger bore paint. So if you're shooting woods ball, you're shooting, um, you know, Tipman with flatline, definitely go look into Draxxus. It shoots great. RP Sure is probably going to be a little bit too big a bore. Um, so, uh, you know, so and tournament ball. The thing I recommend with tournament, and I know a lot of people love the super super brittle stuff in tournaments. Me personally, I don't like using um, super brittle paint when I'm shooting in tournaments because what I've found is I'd much rather take the chance of one or two bounces on somebody than to risk having two out of my five guns go down due to barrel breaks. So I mean once you have a barrel break, we all know it, you're not going to hit anything. So um, I generally like to go with a medium grade tournament paint 
four tournaments like X Ball Silver, um, even some of the uh, the the Zap, the Archon, the Archon Paintball, which works great. Um, you know, even like the RP Sure Premium. I generally like to go with that than to go with the super super brittle stuff. That I've just noticed that over the course of a tournament, we may have four, five, six different barrel breaks, and then that's basically just like you know uh, twisting your gun around and shooting you in the chest. I mean, it's it's not once you break paint your barrel, you know not only psychologically you're out of your game, your gun doesn't shoot accurate, and, and you're, there's not you're, you're definitely a lot less effective. So I go with a medium uh, medium grade paint. And that's what I generally use. Like I think I used, um, you know, one of my favorite paints for a really long time is a Draxus Blaze. Love Draxus Blaze, Formula 13, one of my all time favorite paints. It's cheap enough for practice and works great for tournaments. Um, I know there's tons and tons of other manufacturers that, that are out there, um, but definitely take a look at all of these factors from, okay, is it the winter time? Let's talk about, you know, if it's the winter time, we need to consider where the paint is coming from so I can get an idea of what's going to be in the shell. Typically, the longer the ball is, is sitting on the shelf, the harder the shell is going to get. Um, the shorter amount of time, the, the, the more brittle the shell is going to be in most cases. But finding out where the paint is made from is a big deal. Um, and I think that's about it. And the next thing, you know, probably the last point that I'll tell you is stop buying your paint at Walmart and Sports Authority, okay? <laughs> that, I mean, okay if, you know, for backyard fun, okay, whatever, okay? Go to your local store and support your local store, okay? You know, Walmart and Sports Authority, okay, I don't, I don't want to be buying my paintballs from the same people I can buy my baby food from, okay? I don't want to be buying, uh, you know, my... my uh, you know, paintballs from the same place that you know I can get my rollerblades from. Okay, there are paintball stores out there, and they're a huge resource. I don't, I can't believe how many players drive past a paintball store and go to Walmart. Okay, don't go to Walmart. Go to your local store. Tell them what kind of gun you're shooting. Tell them the type of play that you're going to be shooting. They're going to be able to recommend the the good paint in your budget. Um, something else too, if you don't have a paintball store close by, one of my all-time favorite places to buy paintball, AffordablePaintballs.com. They're one of the few stores, Gavin who runs that store, is one of the few stores that before he ships a paint, you know, before he ships a box of paint out, opens it up, takes a look at every single bag, just like what I showed you guys in the uh, How to Inspect Your Paint, you know, the most important lesson ever, Inspect Your Paint. He does that to every single box that he ships out. His prices are great. Shipping prices are phenomenal. If you don't have a store anywhere near you and you guys are looking for great paint prices, go to affordablepaintballs.com. He's the only person that I know that opens up every single box before he ships it out and inspects it to make sure that you're not getting a bag full of soup. And hopefully that's about it on tackling some of the questions on what's the best paint. Email me if you have any questions, guys. I really appreciate it. Thank you.